Hey everyone and welcome back to Mega Man Battle Network 2 where today we are continuing through the gospel computers that have taken over the apartment complex's network. Hoping that, oh maybe, maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to fix this catastrophe and unbreak the net. Okay, let's see. Last time we got Elbit 271. Let me think. Where was that? It was somewhere past here. I think it's I think it is down this way. This place is such a maze it's got me terrified to move anywhere without uh, consulting the map lest I get incredibly lost. All right, with Elbit 271, we can fix this part of the network. And now head through properly to arrive here for Elbit 93. Awesome, we'll be able to fix the ninth floor now. And I believe that is going to be this teleporter. Now we can head through here. And before we head onwards to apartment computer number four, we're gonna grab ourselves the final power-up in the game. All right, just one more upgrade to go and it is an HP memory. Now, before we head onwards, I want to stop here and make sure we've gotten at least one more chip from viruses here. There's also a super rare virus that only appears in apartment computer three. And I would like to at least try to show off that virus. It is extremely rare, but it only appears here. So this is our only real chance to see it. It does drop a battle chip. It does drop a battle chip at busting level of seven or higher, but there's only one encounter that even has that virus. And I don't think I can clear that encounter with a high enough busting level. There we go, got the chip I was looking to get, which is Shadow 2. Now I'm going to at least try to find the virus I'm looking for before we head onwards. Oh, oh my gosh, I was in such a habit of fleeing from battles that uh, I almost missed that it spawned. Hello, Lava Gun and also Hardhead 3, but importantly, Lava Gun, which is a Lava Dragon. Okay, um, let's see. It's not appearing on screen because uh, it's currently hiding underneath the ground. How do I want to handle this? I can't get the Hardhead like this. And my ground attacks will not work against either of these enemies. Oh, hi! Jump scared me. Okay, you're gonna be hopping between the various holes in the ground very quickly. I gotta move fast if I wanna hit you. Gator would be good here. Uh, let's do, let's do Shadow One. Aha, saved it. I should probably get off that panel before it causes problems. Okay, so you have a bit of like a heat tower thing going on is what it looks like. Uh, let's sacrifice Guts, man, since you're not gonna be useful here. But yeah, I want a busting level of seven or high in order to get its chip and uh, I think for obvious reasons that is not happening. Oh dear, this is a bit of a chaotic fight actually. That won't work. I could sacrifice the swords. I'm kind of just hoping for a gator. A gator would allow me to get a double kill, but at this point I think, I don't think there's any conceivable way I actually get the chip or a high enough busting level for the chip. Uh, let's see. Sacrifice all these G codes in the hope of the last chip we need popping up. But yeah, I would need to time that perfectly. I guess it's not the hardest timer to go for. Here we go. Wind, fan, gate man. Now just wait for the hard head to be open and the lava gun to be spawned and there is no possible way we're getting the chip, but 
Duh, it despawned! It despawned! Oh god damn you! That sucks! No! Okay, well, I didn't- I wasn't intending to get the chip anyway. Uh, apparently, uh, according to the Rockman EXE zone, it's only like 1.3 spawn rate for that virus? And then on top of that, you have to- th that's not a great encounter for getting a busting level of 7 or higher. You have to get a double elite. Yeah, that can- that looks like it's gonna be a rough one, so I'm not gonna worry too much about getting the chip like that. I'll go for, like, a chip trader. Okay, let's see. If we head down this path here in computer number four, we can grab ourselves a full energy. Very good. Definitely in need of those. And at this point, there's, I guess other than money, not much point to fighting viruses. So, I mean, I can fight viruses to get the money, but we got 24,000. I think we're fine for a little bit. Okay, heading up here. We get a bug frag. But yeah, I think I might just start running from virus battles if it doesn't look like they're going to be worth the trouble. Because some of these virus battles, especially the ones with shadows, are just a little bit on the... Just a little bit on the more irritating, uh, irritating side of things. Not undoable, but uh, more irritating than they're worth. Okay, we can fix 201 now. And I believe that is the final teleporter we need to fix. In which case, let's save, because just ahead, if we can get through here, we can get to the top. Right, good luck. Ah! What are you guys doing here? Must delete MegaMan.exe. Delete. Delete. Hmm, I don't think talking to them will do any good. Yeah, sounds like they're on some sort of auto-program. Lan, I think I can take them. I got all their data before. Let's take them all at once, then. Let's rock, Mega Man. Triple battle routine set. Execute. Thank God we're not fighting all of them at once. Oh my God, if we were fighting all of them literally at once, this would be miserable. Thankfully, that is not the case. But this is going to be just a f boss rush against their V1 forms. Not difficult at all? Like, we've beaten many of their V3 forms at this point. So this is a non-issue. Let's just clear them out as we always have. Now that we are so much unbelievably stronger than we were first time we fought them. Look at that, we take you down with basically just our buster gun. And on to quick, oh god. Okay, never mind. I may have spoken too soon about this being easy. Okay, uh, well, good news is I believe uh, free freeze frame attacks should be fine. No, you can block those, you, you piece of shit. I hate you, quick man. Okay, okay, well, we've got Elect Guts. Elect Guts is gonna be really good here, I think. for a possible uh, life sword, but I'm not expecting to get it. Right, crap, okay. I'll screw you. Uh, yeah, we'll pull out a guts, man. Okay, perfect. Real nice thing about guts, man, against quick man is guts, man, really pins you down, doesn't it? Doesn't he? It's great. It's beautiful. I love it. Oh, god dang it, I panicked. Nope, too late. Barely too late. Okay, let's see. So it looks like at this point we are not getting any of the program advances. That's fine. Why'd you use a gate man when you dare to hop in front of me like that? And finally, Cutman. Let's do this. Cutman won't be difficult. Oh, right. I've got that in my folder in case I get a Guts shoot. Oh, right. Cutman. Technically a sword. That's gonna hurt. Shadow's not gonna work for us. Oh, dear. 
Okay, well, come up front then, and we'll see what happens. Now, can I stun you? Ha ha! Okay, let's keep well away from the, uh... Oh, right, you had iframe. Well away from the spinning scissor. Ow! I was just barely too late. Alright, this is looking nice. This is looking like this cut man's not gonna last much longer. I got a little sloppy, but who cares? Well, alright. I'll leave the rest to you. The rest? Alright, insert the elevator e L bit. Is this the same place as before? Doesn't look like we accessed the top floor's network. The program is working normally. Has something changed? Could be the elevator. Okay, jack out for a bit. Roger. All right, that gets the elevator functioning. Let's head on up. We can access any of the floors that we fixed through the primary network, but... First, we're gonna make a quick stop up on floor nine and head over to this door. Locked due to radiation, no entry. But something is on top of the doorknob. We gotta power up the final HP memory in the game. Mega Man is now level 100. All right, to the top floor. All server power focus into server number 00. zero. Bug fusion, stand by okay. <laughs> now, our secret weapon, the Supernavi, will be complete. At last, the world is mine. Begin the bug fusion. W what was that shock just now? Lan, whatever that was, it's increasing the radiation level. Any more, and it'll go over 50,000 times normal. Danger Lan. I know, but we have to go. We have to stop Gospel. Mega Man, let's rock. Lan. Okay, yeah, Lan, you're getting a little bit on the uh, dangerous side. This is uh, getting a little bit towards maybe we should duck. Nobody's here? Darn, must not be the spot. Ah! Lan! Ah! The radiation on the door is 50,000 times overloaded. Darn. Mega Man, you know what to do, right? We can't give up. Gotta be a server controlling the radiation. Find it. I'm on it. Jack in now. Okay. Let's fix this mess. This looks like the place. We have to find and delete the radiation program, okay? Roger. Let's do this, the final network. All right, we're gonna head left first to grab an item up there. And I believe there are no new viruses in this network. It is all the same viruses we were seeing back in the regular apartment computers. Okay, we got an area grab star. Now let's head this way. And up here we should be able to find another item. The very important regular up one. That should put us at 45. Five to go. And I believe I know where both of them are at. I say both. I believe the only remaining regular ups are a regular up two and a regular up three. Okay, heading over this way, we can find another item. A Recov 150, nice. All right, let's head back and down. Down this way. If we head down this path right here, we should find one more item. The last blue mystery data in the main story, 10,000 zenny. And now it's just a short run to the end of the network. 
This is a relatively simple one, thankfully. Before we head any further, we're gonna full energy, and we're gonna save once again. I'm trying to be really careful here, because this end game can be no joke if you get unlucky. All right, there's the program. You found the radiation level control program. Yeah. Nightman, Magnaman, and Freeze Man. Not these guys. Mega Man, triple battle routine set. Execute. Thankfully, once again, they are in their V1 forms, which will make this much more doable. That being said, I remember Nightman being a bit of an issue. Oh god. Yeah, the fact that you are invincible most of the time with your stone body ability is really irritating. All right, Shadow 1, so we can get in close with those Wide Swords. Actually, yeah, it is Wide Sword. I don't have to stand in front of you. Oh, crap. Come on. Come out of your shell. Oh, God. He came out of his shell, and I regret it. I really should not be standing in front of you, huh? This is just an unsound decision that I keep making. And I do appreciate that when you stun him, it actually blocks his, um... It blocks his stone drop ability, even if it's already technically gone off. Oh crap! Oh, this, this is bad. Okay, we've got panels coming back. Good, let's use Shadow 1 from here. Oh, dang it. Now, can we just push through? You know what? That works. Terrible strategy. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Now, now, now we're in trouble. I'm going to try not to accidentally get Magnet Man to create magnet lines on my side of the field. I would like the magnets to stay in the middle. The magnets being in the middle is actually the best possible scenario for this fight. Okay, and I gotta remember to dodge those attacks. Right, okay, he wants magnets on his side of the field too. That's annoying. Uh, you know what? At least that means the top row magnets won't actually be doing anything. Since, uh, they're gonna be competing with the middle row magnets. Okay, I was able to stop that attack before I went off. That is usually a nasty one for me. Dang it. Oh crap, here we go. Okay. Made it. Just good dodging is all you really need to get around that. You need to basically just juke it out. Screw you. Screw you. Oh, dang it. The magnet got me again. Okay. Uh, roll would be a good idea. And another shadow one. Okay, we're doing this now. We'll try not to stand in front of him when the shadow... Go okay, wasted the shadow entirely. Okay, let's see. Roll. Yeah, let's use roll. Let's focus on recovery right now. We're not doing bad. We're over half health, but I would like to not have the situation get worse. You come back here. Okay, let's see. Satellite two or two satellite ones. Let's do the satellite ones. Dang it! Don't ah, go into the magnet! Oh crap. I do appreciate that if you stun Red Magnet Man, Blue, Blue Magnet Man doesn't actually end up finishing the attack. And yeah, let's clear out that guard. I don't think I'm gonna be using Gut Shoot. Especially because I used my dash attack earlier. 
not remembering that I have it in for a guts shoot. Okay, Magna Man dealt with. And finally, Freeze Man. I remember you being trivial. So let's do it. Oh, yes. Okay, we gotta break the ice first. But once it's broken, I think it's never going to be an issue again. And you're weak to my electric. Oh, screw you and your wind. Uh, yeah, let's use up the long sword. It's not gonna be able to reach ever. Oh, crap. And... Yeah, let's use roll. Being a leg type really, really trivializes this fight, and I love it. I love it so much. Not only is Freeze Man weak to electric, but also he's on ice, which doubles the damage again. We did it. Oh, uh. Lan? Oh no, the radiation level is near 50,000 again. Don't worry, I just stood up too fast. Go get that program. Right. I did it. We should be able to get into the next room now. Right, let's go. But first, hello, friend. Hotter. The radiation will overwhelm your pet beyond this point. I recommend saving now or immediately after you jack out. Hotter. As stated by that program, this is the point of no return. Beyond that door, the final boss. I will see everyone next time for that.